What's up guys, it's Josh back with another video. So check this out. A couple days ago on August 28th, 2025, the brand new Pixel 10 devices will support satellite calling through WhatsApp using T-Mobile plus SpaceX Starlink's direct to sell service. And so this means you'll be able to make WhatsApp calls even in dead zones over a satellite connection. Now that sounds futuristic, right? But here's the real question I want us to wrestle with today. Does this new level of connectivity come at a cost of our privacy? Before we dig deeper, go ahead and hit that like button. It really helps the channel reach more people who care about open source, Linux, and protecting their digital freedom. Now let's break down what's actually happening here. Google says Pixel 10 and the Pixel 10 Pro are the first smartphones to support voice and video calls over satellite through WhatsApp. Now the backbone is none other than Elon Musk's Starlink's direct to sell service, which T-Mobile customers can pay $10 a month to access. Until now, Starlink direct to sell only supported satellite texting, including images, audio, and video clips. But now full on calls are rolling out. And the crazy part about it is WhatsApp becomes the first app to use it. But Google hinted more apps like Messages, Gmail, maybe even Duo Meets will follow this fall. So yeah, technically this is groundbreaking. You're not just texting emergency messages anymore. You're streaming real time calls from space. But here's the flip side of it. Every call is routed through multiple layers. So your phone, the T-Mobile network, then Elon Musk's Starlink satellites, and then there's a downlink, and then it goes to the WhatsApp servers, and then to the recipient. I mean, think about that. That's a lot of hands touching your data. Now, this is where things get interesting and a little concerning, in my opinion. And that's the WhatsApp encryption promise, because WhatsApp markets itself as end-to-end -end encryption. But when you insert Starlink plus T-Mobile infrastructure, does that introduce metadata? Even if they can't hear the call, they know where you are, who you called, and when. And the crazy part about it, let me break down the big tech data fusion. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, let me break it down for you. Google owns Pixel as well as Android OS. Now Meta owns WhatsApp and then T-Mobile obviously provides cellular plus billing records, SpaceX slash Starlink. They provide satellite relays. That's four corporate giants, all with access to slices of your activity. Put those slices together and suddenly your private call isn't so private. Now we all know Starlink has a lot of government contracts and then also T-Mobile already complies with lawful intercept requests. And then WhatsApp, despite encryption, has given metadata to authorities before. So are we walking into a future where satellite calls are just another surveillance feed? Now let me pause and share my take as someone who's been around Linux and privacy tools for years. Back when I first started messing with servers and Linux, I believed the open source tools plus a good VPN were enough to stay private. And that was a misconception on my part. Over the time, I learned that the real risk comes from infrastructure, meaning the wires, towers, satellites that actually carry your data. And that's part of the reason why I created DistroTrust. It's not just about whether a distro is safe, it's about building trust layers across the stack. So the OS, the apps, and yes, even the network. So when I look at Pixel 10 plus Starlink plus WhatsApp, I see not just convenience, but a stack of potential leaks that everyday users don't even think about. So what can we actually do about this? One of the things is understand the trade-offs. Satellite calling can save your life in an emergency situation, but don't mistake it for private comms. Also use open alternatives where possible. So Matrix, Signal, XMPP may one day leverage satellite data too. If and when they do, demand transparency. Now metadata awareness, even if content is encrypted, metadata isn't. Be mindful of who you call, when, and where from. And then also apply some audit mentality to your apps and networks that we apply to, let's say, Linux distros using DistroTrust. I mean, ask who owns it, who profits, 
also who has access to it look at the big picture this is the classic convenience versus privacy trade-off so let me throw this back at y'all would you trust satellite calling through whatsapp also would you even consider paying that ten dollars a month for it knowing google meta t-mobile and spacex are all in the mix or is this just the start of a slippery slope where privacy is sacrificed for anywhere access go down and drop your thoughts below in the comments i want to hear if you'd actually use this or if you stick with traditional networks until the dust settled but that's it for today's video thank you guys for rocking with me these are the conversations we need to have as tech evolves if you find this video valuable, don't hit that like button, share it out and subscribe to keep it techie if you haven't already. And stay tuned because in my next video, I'll be talking about other so-called privacy features rolling out in 2025 that may not be as private as they seem. Until then, y'all be safe, keep learning, and as always, keep it techie. Yo, what's up, y'all? Listen, if you've been sitting there thinking about making a move, let me tell you, tech is where it's at. I don't care where you're coming from, whether you've got a degree, a GED, or just pure hustle. There's room for you in this game. You see, tech is more than just keyboards and code. It's solving problems, creating opportunities, and building the future. You already have what it takes because tech doesn't care where you start. It cares where you're willing to go. You can teach yourself Linux, learn Python, break into cybersecurity, or even launch your own app. And the resources are out here for free. And yes, you heard me, free. Now, yeah, it's gonna take effort. You'll have to grind, but think about this. The time is gonna pass anyway. So why not invest it in a skill that'll change your life? I mean, tech doesn't just pay the bills. It opens doors to freedom, stability, and generational wealth. So stop doubting yourself. Store small, stay consistent, and keep building. Because this isn't just a career, it's a movement. And guess what? You belong here. So let's get it. Because the future is yours to build. Keep it taking.